with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Not too bad out there this evening. If you're heading out and about, yeah, you want a jacket on. The temperatures are going to drop pretty quickly. But right now, still at 60 degrees in Chambersburg. Everybody else, mid 50s to near that 60 degree mark. 58 in the capital, 57 up in Reading. Pair of fives in Sealands Grove right now, 57 in York. All in all, for this time of the year, that's pretty good. Now, on the radar scope, we don't see anything out there. And I don't expect any precipitation, but I do expect some more clouds to come in. We are dry right now, going to stay that way for most of the night. There are some clouds off to our north, but here's where we're watching some of this moisture. It's a storm off the southeastern coast, and at the same time, high pressure gave us some nice weather. They're going to combine to give us an easterly flow, and that could bring some of this back into the up to about the mountains as we go through the overnight and into tomorrow morning. Maybe a little fog with it, too. But other than that, tomorrow doesn't look too bad. I think tomorrow afternoon we may break the clouds a little bit. Looking live right now on our Lancaster Sky Cam. Starting to get a little darker out there, but still mostly clear skies. We'll keep it in the Lancaster County for this evening's forecast. We go up to E Town. Mostly clear skies. Cool this evening. Just some wispy high clouds will fall from the 50s back through the 40s as we go through the early evening hours. Then overnight tonight, that fog may develop, along with it, some low gray clouds. So with the clouds and the fog, it won't get as cold as in the last couple of nights when we were down near freezing. We'll be a little closer to 40 overnight tonight. We should burn some of that off. We should see the breeze pick up a little bit, mix uh, out some of those, some of that fog and those low gray clouds, but still a few more clouds than today. So kind of a mixture of clouds and sun, but up near 60. That's not hard to take, is it? Now, here the, here's the predictor showing us what happens through the evening. We drop through the 40s. We're still pretty clear up to about midnight. It's late tonight. You start seeing some of that low gray cloudiness and fog developing over the valley. But I do expect it to burn out a little bit or kind of get mixed out a little bit. And we're still up near 60 as we go into tomorrow afternoon. So that's not a bad one for tomorrow either. And even on Wednesday, this cold front coming through. It could be a sprinkle or two uh, tomorrow night or early on Wednesday. We'll start it out probably near 50 and in the 50s Wednesday. We'll start to see some sunshine. We'll also start to see some temperatures dropping. I think late in the day we could be in the lower 40s. And I don't think we're out of the 40s right on through the weekend into the early part of next week. Maybe a flurry or two with a system coming through on Friday. We've got to watch the system for later on the weekend, early next week. Right now, chance of some rain or snow, kind of a mixed bag with that. Uh, it could still track out to sea, and we'll keep an eye on that. Just stay tuned. We'll let you know more on that. Our kids' art for this evening. This is Arthur Stanley brought us this picture of uh, piles of leaves there, and they're off the tree by now, that's for sure. Uh, Arthur's from Park Hills Elementary School in Hanover. In the